My name is Charlotte Davis and this video was created and developed by the Department of Instructional Technology for Norfolk Public Schools. In this video you will learn about signing into Zoom. By the end of this video you will be able to sign into Zoom and participate in your online classrooms. So I have my school Chromebook. I've turned it on and it's asking me for my email. This is going to be the same user ID that you probably used last year for school. If you have forgotten your login, please contact your school for help with that information. Now that I've typed that in, I'm going to click Next. If this is the first time that you've signed in on the computer for the school year, it may ask you if this is your school account. I'm going to say yes. And now it's going to ask for my password. Just like your user ID, this is the same password that you used last school year. If you have forgotten it, please contact your school for assistance. So I have a couple of choices. I may have received a letter from my school with my sign-in information for my classes on Zoom for this school year. I may have received an email or the login for my Canvas or my Google Classroom. So let's look first. If I received a link for Canvas, I can go directly into my Canvas classroom using my school sign-in, click on my Zoom link, and go straight to my Zoom class. But what if you got a letter for the beginning of school? So if I got the letter, I'm going to need to read down my letter carefully, and I'm going to need to find some information. So here I've highlighted it in green. I have my meeting ID and my password. I'm going to need to jot that down because I'll need that to get into my meeting in just a second. If you received an email, you can click directly on the link inside of the email. I've highlighted that here in yellow as an example. So now that I have my information for my meeting from my letter that I received, I'm going to go to Zoom. I'm going to click in the bottom left-hand corner. See the little white circle? It says Launcher. Once I click Launcher, I'm going to look for the Zoom icon. If you don't see it right away, that's okay. Click the up arrow, and you'll see the icon for Zoom. So let's click on my Zoom icon. The first thing that wants is my meeting ID. So I'm gonna to have to type that in. So let me pull that out where I wrote it down. I'm going to check as I go along, 919-8087-0811. Five. Even though there were spaces in the letter, you do not need to enter spaces between your numbers. The next box is going to ask for your name. You must enter your first and last name. No nicknames, no shortcuts. Your teacher will not admit you into the classroom if your name is not properly listed on the screen. We have to know who's coming into our rooms. Do not click either of the small boxes. You want to be able to speak and you want to be able to be seen on video. Your teacher will have these turned off when you first enter the class. Now I'm ready to click join. If I've done everything right so far, it's going to ask me for my password. So I need to very carefully type in my password. That was 383752. Of course, you will not see your password on the screen. If you think you made a mistake, backspace and type it again. Now I'm going to click join. If I've done everything correctly, you can see it says, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. And it says the name of the class that I'm trying to get into. If I realize I've accidentally joined the wrong class or joined my class at the wrong time, I can just click on leave meeting. I like to expand my screen so that it fills up all of my space. Let me make it big for us. So my teacher has seen me enter the waiting room. They recognize my name and they're going to click admit. And now I'm going to be able to see my teacher in the classroom waiting for me. I may also see at the top of the screen other students who are in the classroom with me. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the teacher's video for just a second so we can focus back on your screen. So let's look at your screen. If I leave my mouse alone, my controls are going to disappear. So let's see how that looks. 
Oh, my mouse is not moving, so I don't see those controls. If you wiggle your mouse again, there are your meeting controls. You can unmute yourself with your teacher's permission. You can turn your video on with your teacher's permission. I also see where it says participants, chat, and share. I'm going to click on participants, and now I can see on the right-hand side all the people that are in the classroom with me. If I click on chat, I can see the chat box. I can type a note to my teacher. You'll also see icons like raise your hand, yes and no. There are more things that are listed here. Your teacher will let you know how he or she expects you to use those options. If you would like to see all of the members of your class at one time, click on the button that says gallery view. It will show you everyone in the class side by side. Sometimes that's a lot of people. I like to leave it on speaker view so that the person who's talking is highlighted in the center of the screen. Thank you for watching this video. If you need any additional support, please contact your home school and they will be able to support you in logging into Zoom.